Our rules are simple, but the challenge is great. No shoulder pets, tames that can be carried, or typical boss dinos allowed. That means no Rexus, Therizinos, or any other dinos people normally use in these fights. Equipped with official server cap saddles, our 19 contenders will be backed by the commanding presence of a loyal Uteranus providing that extra boost. All competitors will go into battle with food to provide a healing effect. Herbivores will have plenty of sweet veggie cakes, and carnivores and omnivores will have cooked meat. It's important to note that the tames in this series aren't typically used during boss battles because of the amount of mutations you need to make them competitive. But all the dinos competing will have around 23,000 health and 1200% melee. This will give them all a fair shot at defeating one of the guardians. It won't always be feasible to reach these stats depending on the dinos I'm using, but I'll let you know the amount of mutations and levels it took in order to reach it. All competitors start out with 50 base health and melee and 40 points and everything else before I apply mutations and experience levels. You can decide on your own servers if the juice is worth the squeeze. Competitors are required to fight the Megapithecus, Broodmother, then Dragon on all difficulties starting with Gamma, then Beta, finishing with Alpha. Their success will be annotated on this scorecard with a pass or fail system. Clearing all the bosses earns them a gold boom medal. Silver is awarded for clearing Beta, Bronze is for clearing Gamma, and the Chunk of Poop is for an unworthy performance. Once all vanilla island creatures are finished, the gold medal winners will test their strength against the Overseer for the finale. Now let's introduce our competitor and see if they have what it takes. Diplocalus. You know things have gone south when this greasy lip nuke takes the stage. It functions as a portable oxygen tank and can be held onto only when swimming. This slippery salamander can't wear a saddle and the stats required for this competition will reach with 50 mutations and 80 experience levels. 25 mutations and 50 levels went into health and 25 mutations and 30 levels went into melee. Now let's see if these creepy looking newts have what it takes. The green portal was open and the under newts probably felt horrible in the snow, but that didn't stop them from charging headfirst to take on the Gamma Megapithecus. Well, they're carnivores and their drag weight is really low, so that means Commander Utes takes full aggro in this one. Sometimes this could be beneficial if the competitor can block the boss, but these dudes are super short and flat, so... Yeah, they don't block shit. To make matters worse, they get all squirrely with whistle commands and struggle to land hits against the bosses. The damage output is just so low, and eventually Commander Utes gets punched to death and I have to run away on foot. I sure wish I brought a sword with me, but I'm able to dodge the monkey minions for a while, but eventually I can't delay the inevitable, and the Gamma Megapithecus hands the under noose that first set of fails. The Gamma Broodmother is up next, and I know what you're thinking. What's the point? Why try? If they lost to the Gamma Megapithecus, then surely they can't beat the Broodmother. Well, Last I checked, psychics aren't real and the under dudes get their fair shot just like everyone else. They're unable to effectively surround the broodmother because they're slow as shit. But when they're in close, they actually do land more shots than they did with the Megapithecus. Unfortunately, once the broodmother aggro's on Commander Utes, it's pretty much game over. Poor Commander Utes has to be abandoned and I try to make my escape but get tangled up in a bunch of webs. Under nudes are dying left and right but I make my way back to the fight and get slaughtered and eaten by the broodmother's brood babies. That's another fail. The Gamma Dragon is up next, and you know, there's actually a chance here. The aggro priority goes herbivores by drag weight, then carnivores and omnivores by drag weight. That means I can have the under newts off to the side, take a few shots of fire on just Commander Utes, and engage with the under newts four or five times before Commander Utes gets killed. And then maybe, just maybe, the dragon will only take off once or twice more before the under newts are able to lay on some pain as they suck on his toes. Well, it doesn't work out that way, and the under newts run all over the damn place getting roasted in the process. I have to watch Commander Utes burn to death, and this time I brought a sword, but it does me no good as I'm obliterated and the under newts earn their final set of fails. Heading over to the scoreboard, the under newts didn't clear a single boss, so they're awarded a big fat turd for their efforts. I noticed during the last episode that I actually stated something incorrectly. We are actually not done with all the saddled creatures from the island. We still need to do the Gallimimus, so expect that video out very soon. Thank you all for your support, and please hit me up if you have any feedback. I love interacting with everyone in the comments, and make sure you hit that like button because it helps out tremendously, believe it or not. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.